you may pause the video and try this by yourself first. The total distance d in meters traveled by an object moving in a straight line can be modeled by a quadratic function. So the model itself is quadratic function and t where t is time in seconds. All right, so we got, if you were to graph it, the y-axis could be the total distance. So let's call it distance. And then x-axis is uh, time in seconds. So at a time of 10 seconds, so let's uh, have it as a 10 comma, because that's what x-axis is. The total distance is 50 meters, so 50. So at about 10 here, uh, I'm just going to say this is 50. So right there, a point. And then at 20 seconds, the distance is 200 right here. So at about 20 seconds, or exactly at 20 seconds, it'll be, ooh, that's 100, that's 150, that's about 200 right there. So 20 seconds, it's about there. So 20 comma 200. And then what else we have? At uh, zero seconds in the beginning, zero seconds, the distance of obviously is zero. So right here. So if we were to graph that, we're going to have a, a parabola looking or parabola, right? So something like that. And then it's asking what will be the total distance at 30 seconds. So at 30, what is our y value? Okay, what the distance is. So it's going to be higher than 200. Okay. So we have a parabola because it's quadratic function and we have all these three points. Let's figure it out. So we have these three points. So quadratic function has y is equal to some standard form a x squared plus some b x and uh, some c here. Okay. Now if, if we plug in 0, 0, it's easy to find what c is. So at y is equal to 0 because uh, c will be the y-intercept. So a times 0, so this will be 0, this will be 0, so c will be 0. Okay, so c is 0 because of this point right there. Okay, that means we could get rid of the c right here. Now let's use these two points to actually figure out what a and b are. Okay, we're going to plug in, remember this is x, this is y. We're going to play plug in uh, 10 and 50 for so 50 is y, and then 10 squared is going to be 100 and a, plus 10 times b will be 10 and b. Okay, let me use a different color for the next point here. So 200 is our next y is equal to 20 squared is 400 times a, plus 20 times b is 20 b. Okay, we could, uh, what should we do? Oh. We could get rid of the b by multiplying the top by 2. Then we get 20b. If we subtract like elimination method, we could get rid of the b. Okay, I'm going to write it underneath here. So 2 times 50 is 100. All we're trying to do is get the uh, formula for that quadratic function. So we could plug in 30. And then 2 times 100a will be 200a. 2 times 10 is 20b. Now, if I could subtract these two equations here, we could get rid of the b's, and then we have 100 is equal to 200 times a, and then just divided by 200, then a will be 1 over 2. So we have a is equal to 1 over 2. So we have y is equal to 1 over 2 x squared, and then we have to figure out what b is. Let's use uh, any one of these. Let's just use this one to figure out what b is. Okay, I'm going to erase this. So if we plug in 1 half for A, so we have 50 is equal to 100 times 1 over 2 plus 10B. That's just going to be 50. So if you subtract 50 to the left side, 10B is equal to 0, which makes 0. And B is equal to 0. So B is also 0. So this is a function now, okay, where X represents the uh, time. I should have used a uh, t and uh, total distance, but you, you understand. Now all you got to do is plug 30 in there. So if you plug in 30, whatever the y value is the total distance traveled. So y is going to equal to 1 half times, well, 30 squared is what? 900. 0, 0. 
So divide by 2, it's 450. So the total distance traveled by, uh, by 30 seconds, it will be 450 meters.